魔王と呼ばれているそうですからどんな方かと楽しみにしてましたが意外とお若いんですね僕は26ですがひょっとしてそれより下ですかゲーム理論の専門家にしては自分の情報をペラペラとしゃべるあなたのことは人目や室長から聞いてますよ Now took a look at Sumeya. That motion alone filled Sumeya with fear. Kuwashima continued his pretentious speech. Mao didn't hate young men who were blinded by pride. He smiled as he thought, Oh, come, lovely child. Oh, shit. Kuwashima sneered. Mao slowly walked towards Kush Kuwashima. Kuwashima smiled as Mao finished. Mao stretched his left arm and held it out before Kuwashima. Kuwashima spread out, each finger pointed at, it, pointed at the man before him. Kuwashima held out his hand, left hand. Mao continued calmly ignoring Kuwashima's mockery. Then Kuwashima quietly chuckled. He was trying to conceal his amusement. It seemed that his laughter was directed at what he considered to be his opponent's stupidity. Mao nodded. Kuwashima smirked as the proposal was approved. Mao and Kawashima faced each other. Each spread his left hand and strained his fingers. Kawashima bet his own thumb with his right hand. Since they begin with Kawashima's thumb, the person who bends Mao's little finger will be the winner. Mao bent his own thumb in Kawashima's index finger. Kuwashima's bent Mao's index finger with a confident, confident look on his face.
Mao bent two fingers during his next turn. Kawashima's middle finger ended then his own. Kawashima's chuckled afterwards. Kawashima touched his own ring finger as he laughed uncontrollably. Mao listened to what Kuwashima's expl explanation quietly. Then Kuwashima finally put down the seventh finger, his own ring finger, down. Mao said this calmly. Three fingers remained. The eighth, Mao's ring finger. The ninth, Kuwashima's little finger. And the tenth, Mao's little finger. Mao put down his ring finger, then stretched his right hand toward Kawashima's pinky. Kawashima was drunk on his victory, but then it happened. <laughs> Suddenly, Kawashima screamed. He didn't clearly understand what had just happened, but his suffering was shocked were playing on his face. As opposed to the panic Kawashima, Mao didn't make the slightest reaction. Kawashima's face turned pale. His finger was pointed in an impossible direction. It was no doubt a shock to a researcher like Kawashima. Mao had truly bent his pinky. Kawashima didn't respond. Instead, he bent down and shivered in pain. Kawashima's already abandoned all thought about the game. This match was decided. Mao put his arm, put down his arm, and spoke to the man before him as he whimpered like a small animal. Mao continued his speech without a shred of pride in his victory. Kuwashima's face lurched as he blocked his forehead with the black with the back of his hand. He had already understood his complete failure. Jesus. 
とくなんもためらいもなくそのゆびをおるなんてなんのためらいもなくひとをきずつけることができなければ企業戦略家はつかまらない我々のしたことで会社が倒産し一家が離散し自殺する Mao glanced at Sumea standing in the corner of the room like a decoration Sumea s t i t c h o u o k a n a Sweat started pouring from Sumea's forehead, as if he just now realized how terribly powerful Mao really was. So m a y a raised his arms nervously. Mao continued closing in. それが一番確実ですよ,よ、やめてくれ。マウ knows how to control his fellow man. He simply causes pain without hesitation. So Maya and Kuwashima can't do this. Just now, Mao demonstrated his lethal distinction. This distinction and the magnificent, overwhelming strength of violence. So Maya curse was only a compliment to the Mao. Chapter 1 ended? Well, guys, if you like that, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and we'll be back with another episode. Thanks, guys.